team, uh, this is Kyoma, XDA Detriment. A little Georgie is a Raiko from the AFF clan, my clan. We have blue team, autopilot, and Praetoric in clan mid. Let's see who wins. Autopilot opting in for spawning on the edge so we can get this mix and then this one. Interesting spawn. I would have preferred mid. Praetor just going standard, going two solars. Raiko making wins. He's trusting the wind. Kyoma, solar, two winds, and the bot lamp. See, he's gonna be e stalling. Oh, a tiny bit. No, no. I guess he ate the tree, maybe. <laughs> Rhetoric. Triple max. Second solar, and then going bot lamp. This is an interesting play from Autopilot. I don't know why he, why he did this. It's not more efficient or anything. I guess you do get all three mixes anyway. You do get all three mixes anyway, except this one. So it's literally the exact same, except it's a bit uh, wonky. <laughs> a tiny bit wonky. So Raiko was gonna make grunts. Oh yeah, that's a lot of grunts. Autopilot going grunts too. Make a res bot. Now there is a lot of reclaim here. We got uh, like 370 metals plus the energy. Just on his side. Raiko having 300. It's a bit unbalanced, I think. The metal spawns. 310 and uh, Praetoric. 320. So Autopilot has more mix metals, reclaim? Huh? Maybe it's balanced with energy, reclaim? No, it's not. He even has less energy, reclaim. I, I don't know how this works. Why this side has more metals than this side. It's not a lot, it's 70 metals, but that's that's still two grunts. That's two grunts worth of metals. Plus more energy reclaim. Kyoma gonna make a loads of grunts. He's not going for Rockos right now. Same with uh, Pretor. He's going grunts, but not a lot. Three workers instead. See, autopilot style. I've, I think autopilot style is very like early raids. Good harassment. Yeah, it would have been better. There's no, there's no advantage in this exposed max, that is true. He could have still walked south and just built it on the ledge anyway. But Autopilot is a good, very good 1v1 player. He likes to harass raid early on. I think he falls short a bit in late game. He doesn't scale as well. Good micro. Good harass. Kyoma being defensive with his grunts. It's gonna put Pretor. He's still making... He's not making any... any any grunts whatsoever, like other than the ones he started with. Now he is. It's going three, uh, three workers is a bit much, but I think if he's doing that, he needs to move his commander out and, and secure this. And, and he is leaving LT. No wins. <laughs> Never mind. This is the first round. First round in a best of three. I said hair. <laughs> I said harass. <laughs> The harassment. Does Kyoma have a radar? Okay, so this team has good radars. This is good radar. I think a better radar would have been uh, building it over here. Rather than on this side. But it still covers a lot. Like, like this radar. It covers a quarter of the map. Almost a third of the map. Whereas Pretoric built this in the back also. It's, it's still good. It's not amazing, right? Autopilot's radar pretty good. It's like a little more value, putting it on the ledge, you can see a lot more. Instead he has it in the back and like... This is like a third of the radar coverage being wasted off map. Put it here, you could have had a bit more. I mean he's also wasting like a third. But Kyoma? Is Kyoma wasting a third? Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, if I could put it here, he would have been wasting a third though. You like to drop radar before you wait, uh, but uh, you run out of energy when you when you drop the radar and you're making units. Personally, I like making wins to force out the first worker, and then once you have a worker, you can make a radar. So you have a bit of extra energy in the beginning, because it's still like it's still 600 energy to make a radar. It's a two-second gap when you finish core lab. 
Franco having a lot more grunts than autopilot. Like a lot more. <laughs> I guess he greeted a bit with the counter hits. And Raikou just going for workers. It's expanding. Pretoric going for a bit of harass here. He did take the mid mixes. This is a good. This is good. You drop a couple LTs and you take the mid mixes. The commander can't can take him without risking a suicide into the LTs. And then you can make Rockos behind this and kill his LTs and push him back. Obviously, take this mix. This, this con is just idle. Drop LLT, take this mix, drop LLT. Very valuable. These mixes are also not taken. They are a bit risky. This one would die if you took this. But this one is quite safe, I think, for the most part. Raikou has done the same here. Secure this side with his, with his commander. Dropping two LLTs and a third one back here, I'm pretty sure. Nope, never mind. <laughs> There's no LLT back here. I, this is so like uh, this is so strong. Like he, he needs to make a lot more Rockos to defeat this. By that time, by that time, Pretoric will have his own Rockos, and fighting from low ground with Rockos is favorable. As long as he micros them. <laughs> uh, one grunt maybe here to give line of sight so you can hit them better. Oh, that's a terrible angle. Oh my God, he's losing all his grunts. <laughs> Raikou going Rakus and Resin. Yeah, Autopilot is losing ground. And Pretoric threw away his entire army. And it's looking, this is looking uh, very over right now. This is looking very over. They dip a lot after missing target, yep. Which is why they're better on low ground. Because then it goes down. And hits the unit uh, on top, even if they miss. This might be over. If he keeps going, he kills the eco maybe. Just keep going, yeah, kill the eco. Uh, Pretoric throwing away is all his uh, grunts here. Very not OP. And now he's gonna throw away his base. Kyoma doing a nice surround so he can get maximum damage in. Meanwhile, Raikou doing literally the same thing. Both, both players dying at the same time. That is GG indeed. Uh, Kyoma and the Raikou did practice on this map a lot uh, with, with my clan. I played with them a lot as well. Seven minutes. I mean, that was quite fast. That was quite fast. Let's go for round number two. Uh, round number two is uh, CCR. Comet Catcher Remake. This is the best of three. So there's going to be a minimum of three. A uh, minimum of two matches. Maximum of three. Loading a bit. <laughs> there we go. We got Comet Catch Remake. Same teams. Both going Cortex. I'm assuming vehicles. Kyoma is going vehicles. Raikou might go vehicles as well. Got Autopilot on uh, Armada. He's probably going to make a lot of blitzes. Good with raids. Pretor is playing Cortex. Leaving a uh, Solar behind. Interesting. Interesting. Raikou making two solars? I guess he's just making his lab right here. Might be going bots. There we go. Yep. If you if you're not if you're not going forward to take the, the third mix, you have to go bots, I think. Because you're gonna be metal stalling the entire time otherwise. Bot labs is cheaper and the bot cons are also cheaper. But if you're going for the third mix, going for a vehicle lab is the only way. Which is what the uh, Pretoric and the autopilot also doing, as well as Kyoma. I want to see some uh, good harass on auto from Autopilot. I've seen him play this map a lot. And he plays quite well. He played against Randy. He, he held him off for quite a long time. He was ahead in eco for a bit. Because he kept harassing him and destroying his shit. Going four workers. Two workers, three workers. Incisors, a lot of incisors. Game one was won by Kyoma and Raiko. Team uh, fake AFF. And go blitzes. Blitzes is very good on this map, I believe. I don't think bots are good on this map. 
Eh, it's kind of rough. There is only a tiny bit of terrain that favors them, like these these craters over here, and and these tiny ones. Right, that's the only terrain that favors the bots. It's very wide open and very big. Vehicles are just massively favored here because they're much faster, obviously, more HP. The the vehicle cons as well. They have more BP and they're faster, so you can take mixes and expand faster than uh, than a bot player could. Light tag on intermediate tag on this map 100%. Faster cons. The cons themselves have more build power and produce more energy. Quite valuable. Wink floor. Yeah. No harass from. Uh... No, there we go. Just one tiny harass here. It's not gonna do anything, I don't think. The LT is in position. Too many LTs all over the place. Uh, if he goes in fast. If it turns around, he could do some damage. Never mind. I don't think so. That's no no harass. Grunt's useless. People put LTs everywhere. True. Some people do do uh, do do uh, do a lot of naked expands. Giga greedy. So ticks and, sh and the grunts work out that way. That's got the nothing. I think this is the map that Autopilot practiced the most, so probably the one they're gonna be very good on. It's no early damage, and he's gonna lose a mix here if he's not careful. Ooh! He's gonna lose? Oh, he did! If naked, it's covered by LT on front. You mean up here? Or choke? Yeah, but the early raids is the problem. Put naked, uh, naked mech expansions, and then you can have a bunch of ticks and uh, and rovers and uh, blitzes killing all their stuff. They're covering it with 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 like units, but they're only covering the cons, not the not the mixes themselves. So this was this good? That was a good by Grunt. I mean, he got away with it. Autopilot uh, not building LT in base. Guess he figured he could defend. And grunts do trade well into into blitzes if they kite. If they kite, they can kill a blitz very easily. Got a tiny attempt from Kyoma. Whereas we have blitzes, I mean, sorry, incisors coming down here. <sighs> Looks like they're a bit outnumbered. They should focus on one, kill it, and then focus the other, but it probably doesn't see. Should probably focus on another part of the map. As is Kyoma, for that matter. He's not even noticing losing his con. That was good. He keeps going. Ooh, he can he could do some damage. Oh now Kyoma noticed. Raka going around with grunts. Oh, <laughs> Pretor, not uh, Pretor, AFK. There you go. <laughs> I like having the uh, the scouts with the incisors because they give good line of sight. You're not gonna get sniped. A bit of damage. Kill the mechs. Ooh. And they survive? Run away and heal? Or oh, they're going straight for the commander. That is bad. Meanwhile, Raikou was doing the same up here. Killing the mechs, killing the cons. I got I actually got some good value, but and the reclaim is left behind for the enemy. They can just res. Slowing down the expansion is the most important part. Because he got one con and then he has to send another con out to take mechs. Rebuild. Oh! Raikou doing some damage. I mean, you say LLT is protecting. Only one mix and one solar. I was still value. I was still value, I think. The solar more than the mix, actually. Because he's going to be e-stolen. It's an 8v8 map, not suitable for 2v2. <laughs> actually, this is not an 8v8 map. You're mistaken, Mr. Blodir. This is a small team game map. Or a 1v1 map. Definitely not suited for 8v8. You could play 8v8 on it. You just be unbalanced mixes. Some players would be like down bad. Hook this is an 8v8 map. I mean, yeah. He's still doing damage here. Predator putting good pressure. Like denying these expansions. Look at this. Compare him to this side. He has expanded completely here. And it's all naked expansions. Not a single LT. Only now is he starting the exploiters. But uh, Kyoma, Kyoma struggling. Kyoma struggling to expand. Whereas Autopilot, he's expanding slowly. He's have to, having to rebuild over and over again. Because the grunts are cheap and numerous. 
and they're everywhere. Kyoma saying he's getting wrecked. Pretor doing a great work job here. General, great job. As units coming up. Oh, the commanders? The commanders is gonna be a hug. Commander hug? No, no. Kyoma running away. Is he gonna do an OPP gun on these incisors? Oh, he tried. <laughs> he tried. Waiting for more raids here from autopilot. Not gonna do a lot of damage, I don't believe. Just gonna end up being a feed. Unless he runs away. Nah, no, it's just gonna be a feed. Got one mix. Took uh, Raiko's attention away for a second, but not really worth it. Yeah, the, these incisors though might do some work. He's gonna spot him with the radar. Kill the second worker again. And then keep going, maybe even the third worker. Meanwhile, look at the expansions from uh, from Pretorek. He's taking, he's making advanced, I'm oh, sorry, armed extractors here. It's gonna be a bit harder for Kyoma to raid. All his incisors are damaged. Yeah, he's probably still getting past. This Giga East all from Pretorek. Maybe, maybe. He lost two incisors already. <sighs> They were the two low HP ones though. Another dead, a third one. Oh no. Not a single mech skill and one of the workers survived. That was bad for Kyoma. Uh, and he's busy losing his entire base in the back. Yep. <laughs> yep. Kyoma not looking hot. He's East all in even though he only has 7 metal income. Struggling. Struggling to build. Meanwhile, Autopilot has... He still managed to expand even with all the grunt raids being annoying. And difficult to deal with. Does he have radar? He, he does have, but not one that covers the edges. He should build a radar up here, maybe. He's gonna cover this side. No sneaky stuff. Sent five incisors to kill nothing and got his base killed. Yeah, that's not nothing. He did get one con. He got one con. <laughs> he didn't get the second con. He didn't get the second con. And he's rebuilding his base mixes. He's on 15 metal income right now. It is not very hot. Sorry, 14? 16? Oh. Raiko can't spend his metals. He doesn't have the energy. Or the BP. I mean, in the end, he's just making grunts. Grunts are very cheap on metals, not on energy. Meanwhile, Praetor is expanding. His eco. And the autopilot is spending all his metals. Metals? Metals? Spending all his metals. Pretor is spending most of his metals. He's gonna be expanding fast. He's going BP. He's probably might be going T2, which is going medium, so I don't know. Risky Bisky. Oh no! He can't degun, he has no energy. Oh! <laughs> oh no, Chubb! <Kyoma. laughs> Sharing before converting. Yep. He didn't have any energy. He couldn't degun the ball of medium tanks. Unfortunately for Pretoric, that's a lot of grunts coming his way. He should be dropping LTs. He doesn't get some some very hot hot D guns. He might lose his commander. Oh no, Pretorek, D gun time, D gun time. Or oh, he's running away to the LTs maybe. Oh, never mind. He has LTs here. No, he's gonna survive. Hey, he's gonna survive. Double LTs. He good. He would. He would and dead. He's very old. Ooh. The eco diff is insane. 50% for blue team. Kyoma is essentially dead, right? He's trying to rebuild. He is trying to rebuild, but he got Giga. He got Giga fucked by Pretor. And Pretor is just gonna make a bunch of mediums and roll into him from behind. And he's gonna reclaim his commander. That's 1.2 metal, 1.2k metal. Gonna go straight into mediums with those. A bit too much build power from Pretorek. I don't know what this is about. He don't have needed metal or energy income. He can medium spam very easily. He has the energy. He has the metals. He has the BP. He's gonna have even more metals with that. And there's not gonna be much resistance from uh, Kyoma. He's making pounders. He's trying. But neither Raikou nor Kyoma can spend their metals. 
This is uh, this is looking very bad for a red team. Very bad. Raiko trying to spam solars. Kyoma trying to spam solars. They're very east all right now. Are they accessing metals? They are not accessing metals. So they're able to just barely spend their metals. Just barely. Like Raiko, Raiko is spending a decent amount. Kyoma is not spending at all. Should be able to just push now with the, with the units he has, I think. Along with uh, along with autopilot rolling, autopilot did switch into air. He made an air lab. Wonder if we're gonna see any bombers. Are now playing. Are we gonna see any bombers? Let me just go like this. One second, excuse me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> no, I'm not playing. <laughs> I'm watching. Pretorek going in for Digan or using the Pretorek as a cover? <laughs> That's funny. That is quite funny. Just look at the eco diff here. That was a 5 hit move. And now he's making advanced solars. Very metal efficient compared to the basic solars. I think if he sent the blitzes around here, he could just kill his base again. Why on play go air, not core? That is a good question. That is a good question. Maybe because he, he's called autopilot. He likes going air. He's making gunships. He's probably trying to snipe the commander. So Praetor might be expanding his energy a bit too fast. A bit too fast. A tiny bit too fast. No, I'm not. The hell? I thought I spectated. Alright, sorry. <clears throat> I'm pretty sure I, I clicked exit queue. <laughs> yeah, Kyoma is looking rough, but he like he's recovered a giant ball of units here, so uh, he might be able to hold if Raikou pulls something off. But Raikou still bots against medium tanks. This is not this is not looking good for him. Mediums and uh, Janus. Raikou maybe should do. Tech, techie might be the only hope. Or air, air would not be a bad choice. The gunships are coming. That is nine gunships. Don't fucking Janus. Janus. The Janus indeed. Oh, Pretore might lose his commander. Oh, 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 oh Pretorek. Energy for Digans. Digans. Okay, he revealed his uh, air. Nah, he survived. He survived. 600 HP, he survived. He's going for eco. That's an interesting choice. Why is nobody using advanced rollers? I mean, right here. Right here, sir. We got we got some from Pretorek. Uh, advanced rollers have almost the same eco metal efficiency as uh, fusions. So... You consider them to be T1 fusions if you want. Yeah, he could calm snipe the commander. He's going for eco for some bizarre reason. It's gonna take a long time to kill anything with this. I'm just gonna lose him to Ant here. I mean, if he wanted to go for the Mexes, just go around with all the gunships, kill all the Mexes, force Ant here, and then uh, swip, swap into like full on medium tank spam. It was a bit of a waste. He did force Ant here out, he did kill some solars and some units. There you go, he's going for the Mexes. I think actually uh, Banshees are pretty good at killing mexes. You can just fly them around and kill all the naked mexes. Both fresh mid and kill his comp. They could do that. Do they know that he's there though? They know that there's a base here. Like a forward base. And Praetor is going hard for that. Because Kyoma, Kyoma ran out of units, right? It, it took a long time for him to actually build these numbers. Because he doesn't have a lot of metal income. They saw the comp. There's some defenses. It's a bit of a feed. He, if you wanted to go kill Kyoma, he shouldn't have gone this way, I don't think. It's a strange direction to go to try and kill Kyoma. You have to go for the uh, for the win condition, which is this guy. This fellow over here, he's making shurikens. Oh, oh, they see, they see. Oh, the D-guns. The D-guns. Oh. Come on. All the right. Thanks for the follow. Looks like uh, looks like Raiko's dead itch. That's it for Raiko. 
Heavy load for Raikou to carry. Kyoma got the crumpled right at the beginning. Over and over again. Losing your cons that quickly. Repeatedly. Was very bad for him. Very bad. Pretor showing good work. Good work. I'm very OP of him. Which means we have a round three. Round number three. Oh, this one is a bit short. On shallow straits. It is a bit of a troll map. Shallow straits. Very easy to... Cr uh, to to grief? I missed the 8v8. Oh no. Oh no, dear me. What, could, what would I ever do without uh, all welcome lobby 8v8? Mine got. <laughs> and this is the last match in the best of three. Whoever wins this goes ahead. The qualifiers. Kyoma and Raiko spawning. Oh, this is an interesting spawn from uh, Kyoma. Spawning on one mix. Same with Vretor. One mix spawn. This is bizarre. I have not seen this before. He's gonna go for the mixes here, I guess. Kyoma's gonna do the same, I assume. No Janus, says Kyoma. Cortex here. Cortex and Cortex. No, Armada. Doesn't have an Armada player. Pretor, is he, is he gonna try and go dig on uh, uh, Raikou's base? I wonder. Little Georgie. I don't know why he changed his name to Little Georgie, but here we go. Pretor gonna build a base over here. A bit faster than Kyoma. Kyoma is going for a bot lab? After the one mix? Huh? He's making pawns? Interesting choice. Maybe that's this is why. <laughs> <laughs> he stopped making the, the bot lab 60% of the way through and decided to make a vehicle lab. <laughs> and he gave him a commander? What? And he gave... What? Ticks can't cross the water. Yeah. Alright, they just swapped. He gave everything to, to Raiko. Raiko's got it all. Kyoma going with the commander. Very bizarre choice of uh, game style. Very bizarre choice. I, it's only two minutes left on the in the match. Only two minutes. This might be why. Is he gonna go over here and try and kill autopilot? Pretor didn't make a lab. You should either make a lab or send battles to your tech to your guy, so he can make units faster. Can even get buy a con from him, maybe. Spam units. Kyoma, Kyoma, just what? Kyoma is stalling because he gave all this stuff to Raiko. <laughs> he can't even build. Raiko made a con to it, and he's making Janus. I see. They're going for calm snipes. I see. I see. The only reason to play Armada is Janus. The Janus and the Anus. Oh, Kyoma's going for... Oh, maybe I see... Maybe this is the plan. He's going to go in, combat Autopilot's commander. And then the Janus going to kill Pretorek. That's their plan. That's the plan, Stan, I believe. I believe that will end in 1 minute and 15 seconds. Just like that. <laughs> combat and Janus. And it's not a bad plan. It is a troll map. They want to troll on it. Pretoric is making a lot of a lot of LTS. Janus do struggle against LTS. I mean, they can they can't one shot them. They will two shot them. As long as they heal. Ooh. No energy from Pretoric. Oh. Oh, maybe the LTS can stop Kyoma in time. Okay, double Janus to kill one. Okay, that's good. LT is not gonna stop Kyoma in time. I don't think. He's very slow. He's very slow. He's very slow coming up here. Oh, the angle! The angle! The LTs can't shoot at him. Oh, he's going around. Five head. Oh, Pretor is going for for Raiko's base. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. This is high stakes game. This is high stakes game. Who's gonna win? These Janus are low HP, but they're against thugs. And they missed. <laughs> they missed. <laughs> and one of them died. 
Predator going in for the base. He has to be careful if he goes around with the Janus. Oh, Kyoba got chased away. <laughs> they're losing. They're losing the Mexes and wins. <laughs> what a disaster! <laughs> it was a solid plan. They didn't expect Predator just to cross the water, just like Kyoma did, I guess. <laughs> Five head. <laughs> He does have VP here, he can still make Janus and kill him. They resigned! <laughs> they didn't even finish! Oh no! They resigned! They actually lost! <laughs> Fake AFF! They lost! Autopilot and Protoric won! OP! <laughs> you didn't expect that, did you? I guess it's gonna be Autopilot and Pretoric versus uh, Lost Deadman and uh, Narnook.